Pinto beans are perfect in burritos, tostadas, put them on rice, chips with salsa, sour cream, guacamole. The possibilities are endless. Try them, you're gonna love them. Welcome to Cooking Lessons for Dad, where you'll learn to cook healthy, cook easy. My name is Karen Breyer, and today we are making Crock-Pot Pinto Beans. This is a super easy recipe. I make it all the time. I thought I've shared it with you, but I just realized I haven't. So today I'm going to share this with you. This is a really easy, inexpensive, healthy, delicious recipe that you could use for lots of different recipes. You could make burritos, tostadas. I sometimes just do beans and rice. You could add salsa, sour cream, guacamole. You can make a taco salad. Possibilities are endless. The ingredients in this recipe are pinto beans, water, oregano, ground cumin, minced garlic, salt, and that's it. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to Sort the beans. Anytime you have beans, you should probably take a good look at them. You should make sure there's no debris, stones, dirt. I, I found plastic in here before, especially if you buy them in a bulk bin, which I do sometimes. So I don't see anything in here. The next thing we're gonna go do is we're gonna rinse our beans. Just put your beans in a colander. Go ahead and run cold running water over it. Okay, so we'll go put them in the crock pot next. We'll put our beans in the crock pot. I'm gonna cover them with water, cold water. So you wanna soak the beans eight hours or overnight. Sometimes I soak the beans in the morning, then I cook them at night, cook them overnight. However works for you. The longer you soak them, the quicker they'll cook. The less you soak them, the longer it'll take them to cook. So anyways, we'll be back in eight hours or longer. Okay, our pinto beans have been soaking more than eight hours and I'm gonna go rinse and drain them. Okay, you want to rinse out the crock pot too. Okay, we're going to return our beans to the crock pot. Next, we're going to add seven cups of cold water. Got four, three, so we need to stir in the rest of the ingredients except for the salt. So that's only three ingredients. We need a half a teaspoon of oregano, a half a teaspoon of ground cumin, and two teaspoons of minced garlic. You could mince your own or use already prepared minced garlic. We'll stir the ingredients. Okay, cover the crock pot. I'm gonna cook it on high, four and a half to five hours. I'm gonna set it on four and a half, then check it. You could also cook it on low, eight and a half to nine hours. So we'll be back in about four and a half to five hours. See you then. Okay, our crock pot pinto beans are finished. I'm gonna go ahead and check them, make sure they are as soft as I like them. Perfect. If you want more seasonings, you can go ahead and add them when you add the salt, about 30 to 60 minutes before finishing. 
Okay, I made some rice that I'm gonna try with the beans. These smell so delicious. Mm, and they are. So try these crock pot pinto beans. So delicious. You're gonna love it. If there's leftovers, you can use that for different meals during the week. Okay, I'll see you in the next lesson.